Thousands of Hoosiers enjoy Indiana's hiking trails each year, but few stop to think how the trails got there in the first place. Suzanne Mittenthal has been an avid hiker her entire adult life. When she first arrived in Indiana, she began to realize the trails here needed help. Trails here were quite eroded, and I got tired of saying somebody ought to do something about this. I sent a note around to an 80-member hiking group I was a member of, backpacking group. 25 people showed up, and we became that force. That force incorporated into the nonprofit Hoosier Hikers Council in 1995. Our 15th anniversary this year. And in those 15 years, they've been busy. Tools, anybody? Tools. Collectively logging 25,000 hours in proving, rerouting, and building trails. I actually started at Morgan Monroe State Forest, so ended up building the Tecumseh Trail. Uh, finished that in 2001. At the same time we were building the Tecumseh, we built the 24-mile loop trail at Brookville. We overhauled all the trails at Brown County State Park. And then uh, things like the Yellowwood Lake Trail wasn't there. We built that. Also the Jimmy Nash Trail in Martinsville, Bloomington's Leonard Springs Trail, the Meditation Trail at the Bloomington Buddhist Cultural Center, and several others. But their biggest project is still a work in progress, extending the Knobstone Trail that starts in the Deem Wilderness and travels 45 miles north to the Jackson and Washington Forest. First you get out somewhere you want to put a trail in. Maybe you need to go from this point to that to connect. You wander all over uh, looking for what's interesting there. Then, you know, we go in like with surveyor's flags and we flag every couple feet. First phase, clearing the brush, and the chainsaw comes in. Bonnie and Clyde, characters, just like the rest of us. We're so fortunate to have them. They've been specializing over the years in chainsawing. Safety, always a duo. And they saw deadfalls, big logs, everywhere on all our trails. Then we do that magical thing where you have this slope like this and somebody has to know how to cut into the slope to make a bench like you, you know, like a car. It's like building a road around a hill. You don't have the car tilted on the side. People have to walk on something flat. But it's not all hard work. They also take time to enjoy the fruits of their labor and share them with others. Held at the Morgan Monroe State Forest, the annual Knobstone Mini Event serves as both a fundraiser and as a fellowship opportunity for trail enthusiasts. There are so many ways to enjoy the woods and uh, compared to a street, for a runner running in the forest is a great experience. It's very different for them. Ultimately, the goal of the Hoosier Hikers Council is to see more people enjoying the outdoors. On your mark, get set. And each person that sets foot on a hiking trail in our state is counted as a victory.